Action on Armed Violence in Liberia has two main programmatic themes. It has its agricultural training centres, which is providing agricultural training and life skills to its, the most vulnerable youth in Liberian society. And it has its data collection, analysis and dissemination function via it, the setting up of the Liberian Armed Violence Observatory. Our oldest project now that we're doing is the agricultural training for which started as a, a project for ex-combatants and now has broadened its remit to vulnerable youth. So we take young men and women with the broad definition of youth here from 18 to 34 and we train them for three months in agricultural skills, so rice production, vegetable production, oil, oil palm and rubber culture, literacy and numeracy training and life skills training. What we do here is to empower youth, especially war-affected, vulnerable and disaffected youth in general agriculture. And the agriculture training program lasts for 90 days, that is three months. In the agriculture training program, we also have what we call the cycle social counseling. The counseling aspect will be there to remold their minds so that they can be better citizens upon their return into their rural communities. The training has done great impact in my life. That is, and it transformed me greatly because I did psychosocial counseling. Most of the time, I've been on the war front and uh, participating in looting and doing all that in order to sustain my family. I've been terrible indeed. So, but uh, for the intervention on Lemma Action and AOB that, 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 that changed my life today, I can tell you that I'm a youthful citizen in the, in, the, in, the, in the government as a whole. This school indeed helped me to go a better life because the three months training, they really are achieved. I don't work with my friends, but they are paying attention to my lesson. Indeed, I believe that it will improve my life. I can be able to work anywhere. I mean, a lot of people here have either lost belief in themselves because they have either been traumatized or they have actually actively participated in the war. And they either, they come and they have a belief that they are the lowest part of the society. One of the things that the young men and women seem to take away is they get that belief back in themselves, but also in parallel to that, they actually learn in order to be able to have other people believe in them, they have to behave in the, within cultural norms and societal norms, which many of them have forgotten how to do. So they learn that effective communication is not to take out a machete or to hit somebody, but to actually talk things through. And You'll see that many of our, our, our graduates are now actually functioning within their communities as the people who are the conflict mediators in their communities because they've learnt skills that just the normal community members haven't, haven't learnt. So not only do they come back to their communities with an ability to actually um, earn a living and support their families, but they also come back with the ability to give something very tangible to the communities.